Hey guys, welcome to yet another Halloween horror review. Last time on the channel, we talked about the 1990s with the classic horror film, The Silence of the Lambs. And now we're going all the way to the 2000s to talk about The Descent. The Descent was directed by Neil Marshall and follows the story of six young thrill seekers as they enter inside an unmarked cave that is inhabited by creatures that are out to get them. And so they must learn to avoid these creatures while also finding a way to escape the labyrinth. Guys, this is a film that I've been really excited to talk about and really excited to finally sit down and see. There are a lot of friends that I know that absolutely love this film that say it is one of the best horror films of the early 2000s and I've heard nothing but great things about this movie so I was really looking forward to it and after watching it guys this is a brutal violent tense and also just a claustrophobic nightmare this is a fantastic location to set a horror film inside just a labyrinth of tunnels and caves that interconnect and it just makes for a claustrophobic journey. If you're claustrophobic, this movie is not for you. You will go insane. And for somebody that's not completely claustrophobic, it's still a tough time to watch. There are just moments in this film that are so tight and so just you can barely breathe. You really feel like you were inside this cave with these women and you were along on the journey with them through this nightmare. And that stuff is absolutely fantastic. If it, this movie does anything right, it is its horror. It does such a good job of building it up and also just building and building and building upon it to make it just a horrifying nightmare that you just feel so wrapped up in. Like, this is a thrilling movie. On top of just being a really terrifying and scary film, this is a roller coaster ride of a film. I was completely entertained from beginning to end, just had a blast with this, and the horror elements are so good. I love the design of the creatures in this film. They were kind of inspired by Nosferatu, the um, 1920s horror film, which I did last year on um, the Halloween reviews, and they are grotesque and ugly and just look so good, and they're just men in suits, but they feel so real, and that was what was so great. And also, I really enjoyed all the actresses in this movie. They give excellent performances in this film, and I really feel that these women are all in danger. I also like some of the banter between them. They really feel like friends, and I, that was what really helped me, you know, buy into this film, was that these people felt like a true dynamic, and seeing them get picked off one by one is incredibly horrifying and just hard to watch sometimes. A lot of things that happen in this film are hard to watch, especially when the film gets extremely violent, which um, this film is maybe one of the most violent films I have ever seen. One of the most brutal and, of course, probably one of the most bloody. And I had a bloody good time with this film. This was just a lot of fun. It was a blast. It made me just really tense, made me claustrophobic, just made me feel like I was in that cave. And the movie, on top of just being really entertaining and really good at its horror, is also incredibly good with its sound design and its music, which the music in this film ranges from being just so tense and oppressive to being just heroic and also just beautiful at times, especially with a track that plays near the very end of this film that is incredibly beautiful to watch. And in fact, that scene alone is 
it's a breath of fresh air, to say the least. It is beautiful. I won't go into spoilers, but it, it, it is so satisfying and so fantastic. Now, with all the praise I am giving this film, you would think that there weren't any problems that I had with this film. And sadly, for those that do love this film, I'm sorry, but I did have some complaints with this film. Now, I did say that I really liked the actresses in this film, and I really did. I thought they all did a really good job, but their characters... I couldn't as much. I didn't really care for any of these characters that much. I didn't like them, really, aside for maybe the main character, um, who is played by a wonderful actress. I can't remember her name at this moment, but the characters just were not that interesting, and sometimes I just found them a bit too dumb. And there are moments in this movie where just dumb stuff happens they make stupid decisions and it costs them well you know their lives basically and it's one of those things like when you come in horror films like everybody has to mess up at one point but sometimes it just it feels too much like people aren't this stupid to do this. Um, you're in an unmarked cave and you're just running into darkness and it just feels so stupid at times when that happens. And I mean, I understand it when you're being chased by some creatures, but at this moment in time, they weren't. <laughs> also, there was a big problem with this film in terms of jump scares. Now, jump scares can sometimes really work and I will explain how they can work. And a lot of the times when um, there's jump scares and they actually work, it's because the jump is actually something that is actually horrific. And that does happen in this film. However, there are other moments where things happen and there's a jump because, um, I don't know, somebody tapped somebody on the shoulder and that stuff was really annoying and just took me out of the experience at times. And then also, um, there's stuff near the end of the film, especially at like the very end of the film, where I just felt like it ruined the ending for me. Now, I understand, like, I love horror films that just don't have a completely pleasing ending. However, this just felt cheap and I felt cheated because this movie has just a fantastic moment of just levity and just a breath of fresh air and then it just leads to nothing and some people are going to be into that um in terms of other movies that have done this before um it's nothing new to me and I like sometimes when movies do this but as for this I really didn't care for the ending that much but overall guys this is still a fantastic film it is beautifully filmed I, I forgot to mention that there are some shots in this film that are absolutely gorgeous. I love the cave designs. This was all done in a studio and it just looks really, really good. Um, tense moments, um, extreme violent horror, and it just really worked so well. This is a really entertaining film that does have its share of problems, but overall, I really, really enjoyed this film. This is a great horror film but it, it has its problems. I'm gonna give The Descent a 7 out of 10. Well guys I want to thank you for watching this review. I hope you enjoyed it and next time on the show we are going to be talking about the 2010s with a classic horror film that everybody knows. It's one of my favorites, The Conjuring. So look forward to that, and as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next review.